Hey, good morning everyone. Today we're headed out to the jungles of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Um, there's a 1980 F-150 short bed out there. Uh, it looks like it's in the woods. Um, price is right, so we're going to check it out. And uh, we'll have to watch out for snakes and the usual bugs. And uh, if it works, if it works out, um, I've already arranged for the tow. So we'll get it back today and, and start on it right away. It doesn't run as usual. Um, this is a rescue like I like to do. And uh, it's a short bed. So I like short beds. Most people today do. So it's going to be cool if it's if it's salvageable. It'll be a nice nice rescue to turn around and, and resell to someone that's looking to uh, restore a uh, Ford short bed. These F-150s of this vintage um, are known as bullnosed, and the bullnose is becoming very popular now among Ford guys because it is a very tough-looking truck, probably the toughest-looking truck that Ford has had um, since that period. So. Anyway, we're on our way. We'll be there in about half hour or so, and and uh, we'll pick up the, the camera from there. Okay, we're here. This is quite the place. Quite, quite rural. truck okay all right we're checking it out so it's a uh, it's a six not an eight wow it's clean inside wow it's very clean inside it's relatively dry not stuck. Okay. Cool. So it's not stuck. Good. So the gas gas doesn't smell that bad. It's a stick shift. So this was a base model truck, six cylinder stick shift on the column. Most people won't even know how to drive this thing, but I do, <laughs> luckily, luckily. Clutch pedal works good. I mean, it's got, it's got brake pedal. I don't know, it could be everything stuck, but it does have brake pedal. Dash is cracked in a bunch of places. So was it good? Okay. I don't know what this is. Missouri, some kind of sticker from Missouri. Cab mounts are good. Okay, why don't you hold that? I'm just gonna look in the master cylinder and I think I've seen enough. Yeah, it's pretty dry, pretty dry, so the brakes might be shot. <clears throat> Oil 
oil's not bad. It's low, but not bad. Okay. Why don't you cut it there? Okay, cleaning out the, the truck. Um, I bought it. A lot of stuff to clean out. And there's a tree growing in it. These are you might want them. Can you get in here by any chance? Here's the, so far the bed floor. It's in amazingly good condition so far. And amazing. I haven't discovered a single hole. But I sure have discovered a lot of bugs. Oh, those are huge ants. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at this floor. Look at this floor. Wow. no rust in this floor. Okay, tailgate's clear. I mean, check this out. This thing was covered in dirt and trees and bugs. There is not a hole of any size in this bed. Not a hole. Nothing. So that is great news. Now, next trick. When we got here, the tailgate was open. Will it close? Here goes nothing.
Maybe not. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Close. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. I don't know what that is. Maybe you do. If so, whew, post it in the comments. Okay, so we got lots of tarpaulins, a bed frame, if you're in the market for one, uh, lots of bugs. These things, I don't know what they are. They're super heavy. Must be made of lead. And uh, this. This is probably the only thing I want. This is just a very simple piece of pipe. But I want to use it to mount my reels of hose, uh, gas line hose, in my garage. This will be perfect. I was just looking for this yesterday. Whew. Okay. Wow. I'm tired. You know, this truck... It's nice enough that if I had more time, I'd try to get it running and drive it home. Um, I just don't have that kind of time. And frankly, might not want to risk my life today. But it's a pretty nice truck. I'm going to put a little air in the tires. There's some stuff under it, like that step, step stool that is settled on. I'm going to see if I can raise it up enough to get that out. So I'm trying to put some air in this tire to lift it up off that step stool, but I hate my air tank because it always gives me this trouble where it's really hard to get the... <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to get the, this thing on. Even when I have it connected well, it's just not taking air. Let me get my other tank. So one of the things that we noticed immediately was that the paint is in excellent condition. At least excellent condition compared to what we're accustomed to seeing. Um, it's, it's rather shocking how good of um, shape the paint is in. Yeah, did they leave a key? They did not leave a key that I know of. Yep, yeah, you gotta call that guy. All right, so now we're calling for the key. Got the the uh, wheels aired up and up. Um, it's got this, this thing out. What it is is a, uh, it's a toolbox that you can step on and it's full of water. And there is a creature in here that is really frightening. I'm not sure where it went. I mean, this thing is, I don't know what that is. It's a slug from a snail. Wow, is that gross. I guess it's better off in the dirt than here. I'm kind of getting it full of rust, which I don't think it appreciates. So I'm going to put it in the dirt. Maybe it can get along better there. But this thing is just gross, as you can imagine. Um, the owner... The owner said this truck's been sitting, what, 10, 9, 10 years? More? 12? Yeah, at least 12. He said maybe more. I think he was scared to really tell us how long it had been sitting. He said there's a hole in the gas tank. Um, that's not necessarily bad, because the gas tanks would be full of crap anyway, sitting that long. Okay, underneath is clear. Got some air here. Got some air there. I'm gonna check the other side. Yeah, Tell, talk about the paint. Yeah, the paint, uh, you know, it's covered with, with, with stuff, but the paint doesn't look bad. I mean, I'm absolutely certain this paint's gonna shine, but I, I can't understand why if it's been sitting this long. It ought to be a lot worse. Should be far worse.
Okay, um, Christina found a slip to these tires from the year 2000 with 3,000 miles on the odometer less than this has. So from 2000 to now, this thing only went 3,000 miles. And uh, I'm thinking that this thing has been sitting a long time, like close to 20 years. So maybe the hole in the gas tank is a rust hole. Who knows? Um, there is a super bad smell coming from somewhere. I don't know if it's coming from this car or because I have this door open, but it's one of the worst smells I've ever experienced. It really sounds like something is very dead. It smells like something's very dead. So I'm going to take all this crap out of here. Um, I don't want this at my house. And that's our tow truck. Yep. Next is to clean the inside. Lots of nails. Uh, Altoids. Wow, that's a big container of Altoids. Rags. You know, if you're going to park a truck for 20 years, don't keep rags in it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Is Rocking that, out to 80s tunes. Is that a clue the radio doesn't work? Um, well, that is a good point. This might have been the radio. It looks like uh, it burned up at one point, doesn't it? It's all melted. I have to decide whether I want that or not. Might be good for historical purposes. It's a chainsaw chain. I'll take that. Oh, man. Ugh, never underestimate the fragility of old plastic bags. Okay. Um, this this is a way better grease gun than I own. Way better. tape is stuck. This tape's probably seen better days. Not so bad inside. You know, not great, but not so bad. Well, you've had worse. What's this all about? <gasps> uh, I thought that was a key to the truck. It's not. It's key to something. Maybe there's a key to the truck in here. Something in here. Looks like sunglasses of some some fold up sunglass set. Oh, I remember these. Anybody remember these from the nineties? These Ferraris or eighties? Ferraris fold up sunglasses that weren't really Ferrari? I'm sorry to admit that I had a pair. Whew, it's hot. I'm praying there's a key in here. Allen wrenches. Made by Allen Company. Isn't that cool? Didn't know there was such a thing. This is a nice set. It's full of dirt and stuff, but it's a nice set. These are some heavy duty shears. Perfect for the garage. This says reorder blade dispenser. Don't know what that's for. I'm putting all this type of stuff here. I don't want to create a mess for this guy in his yard. I just want to get the stuff out of here that doesn't belong in here. Okay, behind the seat. Lots of work clothes, overalls, this stuff, don't know what this is. This is, oh, I know what this is. For the wall. Yeah, that's cool stuff. There's a speaker back here that's hooked up to the radio. I mean, this chain would pull a house. Watch out, I'm going to pull this out. I don't know what might be living in here. Oh, 
hat. That's about as generic as they come. ABC Supply Company. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Trail of ball in beautiful shape. Rivets. So you definitely did construction of some sort, I would say. Now what is this? Polyurethane sealant. Hmm. There's tubes and tubes of it in here, all of them empty. I don't know what this is. So let's see if I can tell from the smell of it. Glad it wasn't spray paint. That's ether. I'm keeping that. That's ether. Starting fluid to the younger generation. Yeah, glad. <laughs> that's right. Glad it wasn't spray paint. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. This looks like it's for the jack. Yeah, this is for the jack. He must have worked for the ABC Supply Company. Because that is that is a, a hat cleaner, an old hat cleaner. You would uh, clean your hat, and then you put it in there to reshape it. So he had evidently washed the hat and then put it in there to reshape it, I guess, because it, so that it would look nice for work the next time he wore it. That is really too cool to throw away. Well, that's going to have to be saved. Ooh, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Oh, this is windshield washer fluid. Okay. Real windshield washer fluid this time, not antifreeze hiding itself with windshield washer fluid. <laughs> this, is, this is just fascinating, the stuff that's in this thing. Some kind of log book with notes, and I handy think, notes. I think that's one of the things that people don't completely um, understand is that when you, when you purchase a car like this, so the history that we know was that, and I'm just gonna show a quick view. So you see these two houses here. Well, the house to your left, he had been renting this house to the owner of the truck. Well, the owner passed away, we were towed six years ago and his son lives in Ohio. And his son came down and went through the house and he had a few more cars out here and his son took what he wanted in the house and he set a Honda Accord and something else, but I can't remember. And he told the guy, hey, the rest is yours. If you can sell it, you can keep whatever you get. Um, so I guess he wasn't in any hurry. So now six years later, he's just getting to to this stuff and he he said that these cars had been sitting um well the longer i talked to him the longer they've been sitting i think he was just scared to tell us how long they'd been here um and then he said that if you can see all of that trash it's just he said that all of that had came out of the house but the fact too the longer i talked to him um yeah i think this car has been sitting. He he finally got up to uh, 12 to 14 years or longer. Um, but what we're seeing, as far as the receipts we found, we're thinking it's more like 20. Uh, but there's always a history when you're going through these old cars. That's the interesting part. They always tell you a story and you learn about the person that, that had the vehicle. And, and it's, it's to me, that's one of the most interesting parts of, of, of buying these old trucks. So what we've learned about this person is he definitely um, was in some type of construction, um, liked collecting and buying old cars. Even if they weren't going to run, he wasn't going to give up on them. He was just going to keep them around to sit out here. Um, <laughs> he was a little bit of a pack rat. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot you can learn from these vehicles. Um, and that's that's one of the fun things about going through it is you really get to uh, learn about a person that you've never met don't you think so richard yeah absolutely i mean the, the history is part of the rescue you ever see that movie where the guy says that's not a knife 
He pulls out his real knife. That's not a file. That's a file. <laughs> and that is a file. Holy cow, look at that thing. Oh. Hey, look, I found a hatchet. <laughs> wow. A machete, I a hatchet, <laughs> a pitchfork. We're getting quite a collection. That's another thing is when um, people sell you these vehicles, you are towed. Whatever's inside is yours. And so we end up getting quite a few little interesting things. Here's a button. Can't mention that on YouTube. I don't want to be hit with objectionable content. <laughs> don't think I need that. Though. So this person definitely had a sense of humor. Oh, yep. You have to have a sense of humor if you're going to drive a six-cylinder three-speed stick on the column. And buy it like that. Red Rose Protective Gel. Don't know what it protects. Whew. You know, this is tiring work. It might not seem like it. It might seem like I'm just throwing stuff around, but it's tiring work. And we're almost there. There is like quarts and quarts and quarts of oil in here. And I don't know. Yeah, this is not drain oil. This is actually old 1040 pens oil, which would have been right for this. Uh, series service S and the rest of it's gone. And that's super important. Oh, SI. So this is good stuff. It's SI. I'm going to put this in. It's quite low. <laughs> Why not? So what are the, the vice grips holding over there on the bottom Those of the car? Those vice grips are holding the hood release, which is probably why the hood was a little bit open when we got here. And this is why. Here's the hood handle. Yeah. It's obviously snapped off. Um, let's see if this stuff is good, too. Yeah, I mean, this is new oil. Might as well put it in right now. You know, I don't know that we got this on camera earlier. But take a shot in there if you can, if you can get in there. Look at how clean it is in there. That is incredible. I don't know that I've ever seen an engine that clean, this old. One worrisome thing is the dipstick is homemade. So I'm thinking it's a quart low, but I really don't know. So I'm not going to put any more oil in it. Almost done. Okay, on to the other side. All right, on the other side, look at this. This is a great idea. Put your pen on the seat belt. You'll never lose it. What a cool idea. Um, saw blades for a size saw I don't need. Oh, this is, this is the uh, mirror in really good shape. Um, automatic transmission fluid. This thing's got a stick. So what this is for, I don't know, something else. You can never have too many clamps. This one's a cheap China one, but hey, get in the truck. Whoa, very big spider. Very big spider. Don't like that. Another trailer ball. A circuit tester. Isn't that neat?
Okay, so just lift it up. Any key? Huh? Any key? No key. Um, How about the ashtray, though? Yeah. Cigarette butts. No key. No key. Up here. Oh. Somebody's I, name, but no key. Yeah. No. Nope. I was really hoping this had a key in it. It doesn't. More Ferrari sunglasses. No key. Well, looks like it might not have a key, but the good thing is you can still shift it. Oh, that's great. So you can shift it into neutral. That's great. So they'll be able to tow this much easier because you can actually put it in neutral without the key. Somebody added delay wipers to this. It must not have had them from the factory. I know it was an option, so somebody added them later. Ooh, there's some pockets here. I wonder if there's a key in one of these pockets. Oh, uh-oh. More handy notes, but no key. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in this one. Yeah, I thought I heard something jingling. Yeah, there's stuff in here jingling. Unfortunately, it's nails. Mm. Unfortunately. Crap. Yeah, watch your hands there. Mm. You don't know what's in there. Boy, if there was going to be a key, it'd be in this one because there's change in everything in here. Yeah. And... Uh, nothing. So... Remember how we said we didn't think it had been, they had, had been ran since 2001? Yeah. Well, I don't want to zoom in on that because it has their name. The last insurance is October 2001. Okay. So I think we got it. You're right. You're right. I think you're right. I mean, look at how clean that is back there. Yeah. It really is. I, it's... And, you know, I I know we said that for 20 years we were shocked, but at the same time, we know that this Lexus has been sitting here for 20 years, and it doesn't it doesn't look that bad. Okay, I think that's good for now. All right, this is interesting. We have a uh, some kind of snow ice scraper that's actually wedged from the tree to the back bumper. I'm not sure what the point in that was, but the tree's actually grown around it a little bit. There's a mark in the tree from it. So this plate says September 2001. Yeah, I think we're right. I don't think this has been driven for 20 years. I think you're right. Watch out, I'm gonna walk this over here. This brush came in super handy. Look at the white lettering on the Ford. It's in excellent condition. Yeah, I mean, it's, this, this truck's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I wish I'd brought my jump box. I could actually try the lights and stuff. I could hot wire it and see even if it'll turn over. But I did check, it's not seized. Yeesh. Shit. Okay. Well, that's not good. Look at that. That is not good. Sometimes what the squirrels do is they get into, well, this is actually bolted on. Not, what a crazy setup, it's bolted on. Um, they get into the carburetor and actually live in the carb. I'm hoping that's not what they did here. It really does look like that's what they did. No, I'm looking at the carb and, and they're not there. They might be in here though, but they're not in there. But I can't, foolishly, I didn't bring any tools, so I can't take this off to check. It's really ridiculous that it's bolted on. I've never, never seen that before.
Well, you could always go get some tools from the step tool, step stool. That's true. I wonder if there's a, well, there are also vice strips in the, in the truck. That's true. It stinks right here. I think it's coming from this. Oh, great. From the trunk? Yeah. Like there's a body in that trunk? Yeah. Let's hope not. Great idea. There are pliers in here. Okay. It's not being cooperative. Is there any oil that you could put on it that you found in the truck? There is. There is, but. These guys don't look like they're going to move at all. Yeah. But there is some coil in the truck. Whoop! Spider! That's a big spider. Get out of here. I don't like spiders because you've heard my story. About how a guy I know spent two days in the hospital from a spider bite. No, those aren't yeah. loosening up. Not with this thing anyway. No. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait until she gets home. Yeah. Were those in there? Brake fluid. Since we're here, let's put some brake fluid in it. <laughs> See if it all runs out. Let's make sure it's good, first of all. It looks okay to me. Oh, wow, it's not empty. I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if it's any good. I'm not going to put any more of that in there. It looks odd. But it's actually, it's not empty. It's just so black, I thought it was empty. Could it be that this thing has brakes? Oops. I'm going to check. This thing has brakes. It's got brakes. Can you believe it? Wow. All right, that's all for now. Okay, waiting for the truck to be delivered. Um, should be here probably half hour or so. And uh, gonna post this video up um, of, you know, the rescue today. And the next video will be trying to get it running. So make sure you subscribe so that you get notified um, when, when the video is published, but it'll be soon. Enjoy.